Estimate of estimate of the viscosity coefficient of argon gas. Estimate the magnitude of the coefficient of viscosity eta of argon gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere pressure. To estimate the size of an argon atom, consider the atoms as hard spheres which touch each other in solid argon at low temperatures. Studies of X-ray diffraction show that the crystal structure of solid argon is face-centered uh, cubic. The argon atoms occupy the corners and midpoints of the faces of a regular array of cubes. The density of argon is given. It is 1.65 grams per centimeter cube. Atomic weight of argon is 39.9. Compare your estimate with the experimentally observed value of eta, which is 2.27 10 to minus 4 grams per centimeter per second. So we have an experimentally observed value to compare with. Now, the elementary kinetic theory tells us that the coefficient of viscosity can be estimated as 1 over 3 number density n mean speed per uh, atom or per molecule uh, mass of a molecule multiplied with the mean free path and for uh, the mean speed Remember that we use this approximation. It's approximately equal to the uh, root mean square value of the uh, speed, square root 3 kT over m. In fact, it is square root uh, 8 kT over m pi from Maxwell velocity distribution, but we neglect the difference. And then we have uh, m, and then we have l, which is 1 over square root 2, and sigma and these uh, number densities and values cancel and we reach the conclusion that uh, we have mkt square root divided by sigma the total scattering cross-section square root six where this total scattering cross-section is pi d squared, the diameter squared, which is 4 pi times the radius squared, 4 pi r squared. Now, if these atoms occupy the corners and face centers of a cube like this, in the face centered cubic structure on one face, you can see that the atoms touch each other along the diagonal, such that uh, 4 times the radius, 4 r, is equal to the uh, lattice parameter a multiplied by square root 2 that's the diagonal of this uh, square so this is a a a square root 2 so this angle is 90 degrees and these angles are 45 degrees okay so that tells us that uh, 2r the diameter of uh, one atom which is d is a square root 2 over 2 or we can say this is a divided by square root 2. The volume of the cube uh, the face centered cubic structure with uh, side length a is going to be a cube and the number of atoms in the face centered cubic structure per cube will be because for each atom at uh, the corners of the cube, we will have one eighth of the atom inside the cube, one eighth of each atom, and there are eight corners in a cube, so we have eight, and then we have six faces and six atoms at the face centers. Half of each atom is within uh, the cube, so one over two times six, so we have four atoms per uh, cube. The density is basically uh, the mass of uh, one atom, which can be calculated as uh, 39.9 uh, 
uh, atomic weight divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 and there are four atoms per cube and the volume of one cube is a cube so this must be equal to 1.65 grams per centimeter cube uh, where I have mass of one atom is the atomic weight 39.9 divided by Avogadro's number okay so how do I calculate d the diameter of the atom well this gives me a but d is equal to a over square root 2 so uh, from here uh, if we uh, isolate a we can see that a is equal to uh, 39.9 times uh, 4 divided by uh, 1.65 Avogadro's number to the power one third. So it's going to be, if you isolate A, it is um, 4 times 39.9 divided by 1.65 grams per centimeter cube times Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 to the power one third. So that's how I obtain a from this equation. Now d is a over square root 2, so this gives me for d 1 over uh, square root 2 times a, and if you calculate this, we obtain 3.9 times 10 to minus 8 centimeters. So the corresponding total scattering cross section, sigma, which is pi d square or 4 pi a square, where a is the radius. Now here a is the side length. So this is 4 pi r squared, uh, in other words. So we have pi d squared is equal to 4.78 times 10 to minus 15 uh, centimeter square. That's the total scattering cross section. Now this is at room temperature, so Kt value at room temperature is 1 over 40 electron volts. So this we know. Uh, so if we substitute these values for the viscosity, coefficient of viscosity, it is 1 over uh, square root 6. Then we have... Uh, sigma square root 6 so sigma we substitute uh, 4.78 times 10 to uh, minus 15 minus 19 meter square so if we convert to uh, meter square then we have square root mkt uh, so m the mass of one atom is 39.9 10 to minus 3 kilograms divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23. Now 1 over 40 electron volts, 1 over 40 times the electron charge, 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs, square root. Uh, and this gives me the following number for the coefficient of viscosity. It is 1.4 times 10 to minus 5 kilograms per meter second. The experimentally measured value is 2.27 10 to minus 4 grams per centimeter a second. So experimental value was uh, 2.27. 10 to minus 4 grams per uh, centimeter second. So if we if I convert this to SI units, this is 2.27 times 10 to minus 4 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms divided by 1 centimeter is 10 to minus 2 meters kilograms per meter second. And this gives me 2.27 times 10 to minus 5 
kilograms per meter second. And you can see that the calculated uh, viscosity, eta, uh, has agrees, agrees with the experimental experimental value order of magnitude. It's not a perfect agreement, but the order of magnitude is the same. So this is 1.4, experimental is 2.27. Well, where does the discrepancy come from? It comes from our assumptions of the hard sphere approximation uh, for the argon atom, for example, and uh, we have some uh, simplifications. This 1 over 3 value is uh, basically approximate. Uh, as we have seen in Maxwell velocity distribution, uh, this number can be uh, quite di uh, different. So for example, we take 1 over 6 for uh, atoms uh, moving, uh, mole gas molecules moving in one direction, but in normally but when we look at Maxwell velocity distribution, we have found that that should be 1 over 4, etc. So this number is not to be trusted. And we have the hard sphere approximation, and we also have an approximation on V bar. So these will all cause discrepancies from the experimental value, but we have a pretty good agreement in the order of magnitude, as you can see. So. Uh, we have estimated the viscosity coefficient of argon gas uh, using uh, our elementary kinetic theory result, 1 over 3 and V bar ml. So for V bar, the mean speed of an atom, we have used the uh, V bar approximately equal to VRMS approximation, which is square root 3 kT over m as obtained from equipartition theorem. And for L, we substitute 1 over square to N sigma, N's cancel, and we have total scattering cross-section remaining at the bottom. And this gives us uh, basically a square root. Uh, so when we take this uh, 3 into the square root, it becomes square root 9. 3 becomes, uh, 3 cancels the 9, it makes it 3, so we have square root 6 here. Square root mkt over sigma square root 6. For sigma, we have pi times diameter square, which is 4 pi r square. And uh, when we have the face-centered cubic structure, we see that the atoms touch along the face diagonal so that we have 4r is equal to a square root 2. And at the same time, the volume of the cube is uh, side length uh, a cube. The number of atoms per cube, because we have eight atoms at the corners of the cube, one eighth of each are within one cube, and six atoms at the face centers of half of which are inside the cube, we have four atoms. The density is four atom mass, which is obtained by dividing the atomic weight with Avogadro's number multiplying by 4, divided by the volume, which is A cubed, that gives us the density, so we can uh, obtain A from this equation, because this number was given to us, 1.65, and the, the diameter is just 1 over square root 2 times A, and we can obtain the total scattering cross-section. For KT value at room temperature, we use 1 over 40 electron volts, which is converted to joules by multiplying with the electron charge, 1.6 to minus 19, and we reach our final answer, 1.4 to minus 5 kilograms per meter second. Remember that this is called POAS. It's the uh, the unit is pause. The experimental value has an order of magnitude agreement. The discrepancy comes from this V bar approximation. It comes from hard sphere approximation. And also uh, this 1 over 3 value is uh, not to be taken too seriously in this calculation.